All right, so ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let's talk to Emily and Rob. Hang on, turn that down, there we go. Hello, hello, hello. Hey, how's hello. Hi, how's Wait, it going? Oh. Hang on. Still listening to you on Twitch, it's a delay. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, hi. Hi guys. Oh. Hey, how's it going? What's going on? Sorry, you, my picture's in the way. I can't, I can't make my video go away. Can I hide my picture? Well, we're on now. I thought this was, I thought no, this was like. No, this is it, dude. You're on. To, all right, so you guys are ready to go? It's all no, good. no, oh yeah, no, no, no. Well. We did that last night. That was what last night was. Oh, you don't get, you oh, don't get a prep. You don't get prep. No, 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 no. <laughs> Um, <laughs> okay, first of all, Rosie F810, thank you for the $10 donation and Super Carnosine for the $3.33. Thank you very much. Uh, anyway, hello. I truly thank hate you for joining me. I Th truly hate seeing myself on the stream. <laughs> don't like it. Stop looking. Don't look. Don't look. I can well, see the I, chat. I want to see the chat. All, yeah, well, you can bring up the chat. You can totally bring up the chat. Um, I first also expected all, them to be older. That's a compliment. Oh, thank you for the Go Emily. On. Emily Keep for the trying. two dollar donation. Love your stream. Thank you. That's very nice of you. Sorry, that wasn't you, Emily. That was another Emily. Wait, what? Some uh, uh, someone else called Emily donated two dollars to the stream. Social media Rob looks a lot different than I expected. <laughs> I once, I once was live streaming the season six auditions, and I accidentally like had uh, open the front cam. Like Instagram live. Yeah. I accidentally opened the front cam for a second, and all the comments came up. It's just like. Oh, he looks like a cameraman. I'm like, I don't know how to interpret that. <laughs> okay, so first of all, hang on. Let's, uh, uh, in terms of, uh, let, let, let's just introduce ourselves here. So Emily, hello. Hi. So do you want to just tell us who you are and, and, and why? <laughs> and why? <laughs> um, hi, I'm Emily. Um, you know. <laughs> Nailed it. Okay, I cool. Just... No, 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 that's it. That's it. Good. And then we got, we've been working from home for three months and we video chat and this is all we do. This, yeah, this I have dynamic. never, I have not left this room in three months, guys. <laughs> this is a lot. Oh my gosh. Okay, so, so, well, okay. Emily, why don't you tell us kind of what you, what you do for, for the next step and then Rob, you can go into it and then, and then we'll talk a bit more. Yeah. Okay, sure. So I edit pretty much everything you see on the YouTube channel, all the behind the scenes. I make the lower thirds, even though some people seem to think that's like a separate job. It's just so much of the <laughs> There's one person the making lower the lower thirds. The, the lower, lower thirds happens to come up at the bottom under yes. people's name. Yes, yes. Um, I sometimes post on Instagram and usually I just kind of do what I want and then Rob has to deal with it <laughs> and make sure I can. <laughs> Okay, that's great. So, do you do the lower thirds for for the episodes as well, or just the BTS? Sorry. No, just for the behind the scenes. But I did see Rob and I were were looking on social media or like on Instagram on like YouTube yeah, yeah. comments, but yeah. like, oh, the person who does the lower thirds for the or the behind the scenes is doing it on the show now. And I was like, I'm not, but thank you for thinking that I am. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Clearly, they're like stealing. They, they're stealing they're your bit. They told us that we they saw people reacting to the season six behind the scenes and they started like like in the Christmas special like Kingston James Stan was like yeah. the kind of thing that they were like oh people yeah. like that we'll start bringing them in the episodes yeah yeah exactly um, Rob what about you what do what do you do and why um, so I was <laughs> uh, I don't know why you're laughing um, <laughs> I think the intro is I, uh, we're done that's it you're out Rob that's it that's it. I, I've been on set since, uh, I started on Lost and Found actually, just timing wise. Um, and then on season four to six, I filmed all the behind the scenes and stuff. Uh -huh. Oversaw edits and stuff. And then uh, season seven, Emily filmed it, uh, but you've been editing season, you edited the behind the scenes season six and seven when it like clearly turned into more. Yeah, and uh, I, techn I technically started the Instagram account and the YouTube You technically started it? I guess the word technically is not necessary there. I started, you started the, Instagram the Instagram and the YouTube channel. Okay. Yeah. There's, there's been other people that ran the social media, uh, to be fair, that have come and gone throughout the years. Right. But we've, like, You've been survived. Here the last yes. Wonderful. Yeah, and I guess I should I'm, say I'm a survivor. Yes. Season seven, I was on set filming the behind the scenes, and you can probably tell if you watch the behind the scenes, you can usually hear me laughing behind the camera. Absolutely. Cause... Yes. <laughs> and the latest one, I think you, you when I DM asks. Something. 
uh, says he'll be Shelby's maid of honor, you like say something to him. Oh, hi, Liam, or something like that. Yeah. 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 Right. Because I just can't stop talking. So sorry, guys. <laughs> No, I think it adds to it. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, I think the the favorite addition was when I think uh, it was the the blackout episode, the lights off episode, whatever yeah. it ended up call being called. Yes. And you, you, Molly, Renee, and I were in that little room talking, and yes. Renee was like leaned back eating a cookie yeah. while we were trying to do anything. I'm like, okay, Renee, can you at least pretend like you want to be here? Right. <laughs> I know it's. It so I mean, she's so cute. Yeah, she. Everyone's she calling out. Everyone's calling out that I, I, uh, I sometimes like look at TNS fan Instagram stories uh, with my own personal account because I feel like I'm being sneaky, and that they all know. So, <laughs> uh, my cover's blown. I can't do anything anymore. No, that's um, it. Oh well. Yeah, that's it. Um. So first of all, um, let's get some ones in the chat for Rob who got his haircut specifically for this stream. Yeah. We both kind of. Like, I'll go out with my dogs in the morning in my pajamas. I don't care about my neighbors, but these people are important. So yeah. I got dressed up today. You're important, guys. Even though half of you got banned for a little bit there for losing your minds. Um, okay, so, like, what... How did you get into this? Like, did you guys go to go to TNS school? Like, what did you... What did you... <laughs> You imagine? You think Rob and I are TNS school. TNS <laughs> Rob is school, that's the it. principal yeah. of TNS school. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, like what? What, what did you? Do you go to? Did you guys go to like take communications at uni? Did you go to film school? What did you? What did? How did you start out? Let's go first. Yeah, M. You can. Okay. Oh, okay. I, I went. So yeah, I did go to film school, <laughs> not oh. specifically <laughs> for. Like I don't. Like, I went to film school. Um. Funny enough, and I don't know if I should admit this on oh, stream, no, no but I've never actually fine. taken like editing classes. Like I, I right. took a course in like a certain editing software, but I never like actually learned how to edit. Yeah. Um, I've just always liked it and was, I guess, relatively okay at it. Um, I started at uh, our the show that or the company that does Boat Rocker doing like something completely different, and then. It was just like doing like little cut downs of shows to go on YouTube and then I ran out of things to do. So I was told that the next step was a great thing to get involved in because once you start working on it, you never stop. Yeah. Um, I told you this. <laughs> Caitlin. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. So, so yeah, I asked Rob. I think Rob, actually, you were on set with season six when I started for like two weeks or something like that. You were working there for like a month and I had not seen you because I was just camping yeah. out on set. Yeah. Mm. So once Rob came back, I was like, hey, want to help with uh, the next step? And he was like, sure. And so I don't know if fans remember. Rob, I was thinking about this the other day. Remember the catch up we used to do every week where it was like those little animated things to say like where things were airing? Or where we, we had an issue where like the show airs in so many different countries and mm. uh, the, the show itself is not in charge of the scheduling like the different individual channels are. So even, sorry, my dog just came in from the walk and there. <laughs> That's a very happy dog. Uh, that was not happy. Um, by the way, one of my dogs is the one that shows up in Victoria's uh, Show the World episode. Uh, oh. I don't know if um, <laughs> but yeah. Um, I'll see if she wants to come up there. But uh, what are we talking about? Yeah, I don't remember. <laughs> so these are the catch-up videos. I started doing videos. those. Yes, 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 yes. Sorry, the dog distracted me I don't me even think well. they're available. I don't even think they're available on the channel anymore. I think we got rid of them because they were pretty like time like, every week on YouTube and Instagram, we would just be like, hey, here's what's airing. Here's what aired this yeah. week in like Poland. Here's what's airing next week. And mm. after show for that episode, that was the first thing you did. Yeah. Yeah. And then I remember editing it. He was like, here, just make a behind the scenes for like the first episode. And I remember sending it to him and he like, he watched it and then looked at me and went, that was way better than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> and so from that point on, it just, yeah started doing next step videos and never really stopped i think in the two years plus i've been working at yeah Worker, i haven't stopped editing stuff for the next step wow wow and like and rob so how long were you have you been with boat rocker since lost and found or uh 2014 um basically and it's funny because i'm i don't edit anything anymore but uh mm -hmm. i edited a lot of stuff as a teenager and then in college uh, it's like fun little things and genuinely i got my job because i made a clip of uh 
Captain America 2 had just come out and there was a scene that was like released a little early or something of him chasing the Winter Soldier and like yes. bashing through walls yes, and hitting yes, the yes. hallways and stuff. Yeah, that was a great scene. I edited that to America F yeah from Team America. <laughs> it hit, and it hit the front page of Reddit. It's gone Wait, now no, because I my channel got, got hit by copyright and stuff. You seen that? Yeah, that was you? I uh, that got me my job because I was telling somebody about they were like I met up somebody from school and uh, he was just like what are you up to I'm like nothing this is really the Not highlight of my last month or oh my and he's like God. oh well I'm working at it was called Temple Street at the time yeah I mean internship wow so and did you go did you have any like editing like experience or was this just all stuff that you just like i'll play around with this and learn as i go kind of thing as well i played around there was a program called like pinnacle studio 8 or something in the 2000s and then eventually i uh got a not legal version of premiere pro um yes and, you, i mean uh, i mean that's that's disgusting behavior i would never condone that kind of thing no so, yeah uh uh support Yes, support your local giant corporation. Um, right, good. So you just kind of farted around with that, was it? Yeah, that was it. And then uh, basically that summer that I started, I was doing other stuff, but um, Family Channel had done all the after show for the seasons one, two, three for their website specifically. And mm. that was just locked to Canada. And the show was trying to hit the UK. Mm. And people were asking about like extended dances and uh, all the different stuff that they had done. Um, Family Channel's money, but Family Channel only had candor rights, so we just decided to start them up internationally. Uh, uh, and the audience, especially, kind of like really grew out of that. Mm. So distracted by the chat. I'm so I know, sorry. mate. Welcome to my world. Don't. It's it's kind of crazy. Just, I mean, everyone wants to go to TNS school now. <laughs> that's all they've been talking about for five minutes. Like TNS school. TNS school. I want to be hey, in detention. That's a, that's, that's, that's a new. That's a new. Uh, that's a new series. That's a new series coming to the TNS YouTube uh, next week. Oh <laughs> I'm kidding. Bro, I don't want to give them more work. I don't want to give them more work. They've already got so much already. She comes back. She establishes a whole school. Mm -hmm. Every character that everyone's ever wanted to come back is a teacher. They're this all is, teachers. They're amazing. all there all the time. Could you imagine? It'd be like X Men. Hmm. It makes Except it like X-Men. Like, all of the, the, all of the dancers are like teachers. Yeah. yeah. No, that'd be amazing. Uh, uh, <laughs> Maddie is in the chat. I remember how scared I was to do my first behind the scenes with Carter back in season six. Which is funny because she doesn't oh, seem oh. nervous when she was in that clip. I've seen that video. She didn't seem that oh, nervous. Oh, and that was... This is like, I don't know if this is interesting. It's all like inside baseball of like... No, but they love this you, inside baseball stuff. It's great. We discovered in season six specifically, like seasons four and five when I took over, like behind the scenes was kind of hard because it was like uh, the the first few seasons was uh, they like spent, they had a week built into the schedule of like, we're going to film all the after show stuff. Mm. Like Jordan Clark doing interviews too was like a set or it was in the cafe, I think. Like, yeah, I like days shoot that. And then I was just like the guy who in between takes was like going up to was like, oh, they can't tell me about Amy's. Okay, yeah, go. no, you're, you're, you're yeah. whispering you whispering into a, an Apple mic does not work on the Discord. I'm sorry, you're going to have to do that again. Yeah, I really lost. Shelby, can you talk about Amy's mom and how you feel about, like, getting kicked over to Gemini? Okay, thanks. Go, 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 go. Okay, um, that's great. And there then... you go. That's perfect. Thank you for that. <laughs> someone, can, I, can, can someone clip that? Thank you. <laughs> season, six, season six, we really realized, like, the cast were more comfortable and it was, like, a better energy if um, we had cast interviewing each other. So especially, mm. I think that really started with uh katie hortensio's like it, it, like get to know lily thing where we had oh, isaiah yeah. and, were, and sage walked in and that was like shot at regionals it was like near the end of the season because we wanted her to get to know her character yeah especially like season seven is almost all behind the scenes interviews with like two people at once because we're like mm -hmm. just want the cast kind of acting or my favorite is all of b troop will always interview together as soon as you start talking to one of them they all show up yeah i mean like i mean like so emily like going from se on season seven how thank you for yes. that wifey's clipped it i love it thank you um uh Shit, how because you because you took over rob you did season six behind the scenes right for filming yes Right. So, em and Emily, this was this was you. You were there nearly one hundred percent of the time filming BTS for for season seven. So, what was yeah. that kind of? And it was 
like even from my pos from my point of view it was like a whirlwind of trying to get footage in general let alone behind the scenes footage so what was that like yeah so many plans for seven that like we had yeah we, it, it didn't like we didn't even have time for it. like we we're gonna do like so many challenges and stuff and yeah yeah just, i think the only the only thing that really came through from our plans at the beginning was doing like alex and liam say yes to everything for a day mm. um, was one of the ones that survived because yeah it, it was just such a tight schedule and <laughs> i got yelled at a lot on set um because everyone it happens just, to all of us like the food fight i got yelled at because like i was behind when when briar got like the cake in the face i was like behind the rest of the cast that were all um yeah they were all they were Aussie around the table. Filming it, and they're like, I, like, the shot. I was just trying to move for a better angle and they could see me in the reflection of the <laughs> of uh uh the studio uh office yes. window yeah, i was yeah. about to say like emily but technically it was angela's at the time anyway yeah um, um but, we all got yelled at but yes. i interrupted emily's yes you did um, shut up yeah essentially uh the, so honestly like coming on for the first little bit of season seven i was super nervous oh bye rob bye um yeah <laughs> anyway carry on, carry uh on. Yeah, I was super nervous because I'd never really met most of the cast. Like, I'd met, I think, Shelby, Isaiah, Alex Chaves, but not yes. really anyone else. Yeah. But I had made fun of all of them on the internet before. <laughs> like, I had poked jokes at them in all of the season six behind the scenes. So I was like, I'm going to meet these people and they're going to think I'm a monster. But uh, met them be like, oh, the behind the scenes are so funny. We love them. And then, like, yeah, it was super chill. And it was really fun to get to, like, work to the strengths of each person. Yes. Like Rob was saying, like, we kind of wanted to be as authentic and genuine as possible, which, yes. like... Honestly, like the behind the scenes are pretty much as close to being on set as you could get without actually being on set. Like it's actually that crazy and chaotic and yes. like God, yes. pretty I agree. Yeah. Like it's just so much fun. And so it was fun getting to play to like everyone's strengths. Like mm. Yeah. Like if I wanted like a thoughtful analysis of the episode, I'd go to like Alex or or Shelby mm. versus if I wanted like straight shenanigans, it's like a hundred percent Noah down, and just, Emily just and Isaiah. Yeah. Um, if I wanted like someone to talk really fast and just make stuff up, I'd go talk to Katie. Yeah. Um, and then if you just like, want yeah, someone just... to gym at the camera, that'll just be me in every shot. Yeah. Yeah. yeah exactly. Yeah. That's good thing. Yeah. If I want someone to just stare at the camera and have their accent made fun of, I'd go yeah. talk to you. Well, like Julian will just like sing for the camera, and we're like, or just yeah. like, yeah, sing or something. And we're like, we can't use that. It's a copyright song. And it's like, <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh, and uh, yeah. he does that right. for seasons yeah yeah um yeah i know mm. that's crazy and you guys also did so i don't know if you did because i know emily you were on the tour in london for, the, mm -hmm. for this year rob did you mm -hmm. you oh, you right. were in canada this year right you just stayed in canada no no i was i was there long story short so uh, emily and i talked a little bit about this like uh, uh we shot some stuff on tour it's going to come out at some point okay uh there you go. There's a, there's, a, there's a stream spoiler for you guys. Some tour stuff is yeah. coming at some point. We don't know when. There, um, I think it was really be, to Alex Shaves being a little sick. There mm. were there were days that we were supposed to do, and then I was going to go visit my grandparents in the Isle of Wight. Uh, and uh, Your we grandparents in the Isle of Wight? Wight? My family's British. I was born in London, and Yo! we moved when I was one. Yeah, Dude, yeah, yeah. I used to go to the Isle of Wight all the time. God. Sorry, carry on. I, yeah, we're still there. Um... Basically, we just realized we needed like some pickup shots and some extra stuff and Emily was going to be in London for the rest of the week anyway until we both flew home. Mm -hmm. uh, and so she just went to bed. Um, yeah, because I remember, I remember you guys kind of went, oh yeah, I'm going to go for like, I'm going to go visit. Emily, you like visited random places in the UK as well for like vacation as well, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we ended up, we were on the tour for the first week of the UK leg. Mm -hmm. Um just shooting some stuff at pineapple and mm -hmm. like we went to a couple of the shows i'm not sure how much i'm gonna i'm allowed to say but rob isn't panicking He's... yet so <laughs> yeah so we, we followed around for a while we filmed on the uh um tour bus a little bit and then yeah we ended up splitting up for like a week and i went and just kind of hung out in london right, and right right did some stuff rob went to the isle of Wight, and then we met up again and headed home but yeah that was so much fun and had you had you guys done previous tours at all had you been? Because I know there was like there was like. In the chat, yeah. What's that? Um, I was telling somebody in the chat. Cause somebody's like, "Oh, I'm old. I went to the show the world. Uh, not show the world. Um, Wild Rhythm tour, which is 2016, and uh, we made a web series called Show the World based on that. That was the uh the dog from 
Victoria, uh, Victoria's episode, but like, yeah, the, um, the last tour with kind of the original, uh, most of the original cast and Isaiah's first tour. Yes. Uh, we went to Australia and the UK and that one was a little bit more focused on, like, oh, they're going international. It was, it was the first mm. international tour. So mm. really exciting. Right. We went to Italy and we went to Spain. And wow. I didn't know you guys went to Italy and Spain and stuff. Cause I know, I know there was a. I did. Was Emily a... didn't. Ha ha ha. Wow. Um, Cause I know there was wow. a, there was like a, a film, right? There was like a, like a short, I don't know how, what the length of it was, but there was like a tour film thing. Right. And that was, was that mostly you, Rob? Was it Emily? Did you do editing on that at all? I was too new at the time. There were people who, uh, previously, worked... previous to you guys. Um, yeah, and like one of the guys who also did Lost and Found was like the main that that's the 2015 live movie. This is the encyclopedic knowledge that I have gained <laughs> for this uh, this show. Um, but that was the 2015 live tour. Yes, uh, from that went across Canada, and they made a movie that uh, was in like some Canadian theater. They showed it in theaters. Um, it was like a limited. A selection, wow. a limited showing day where like kind of like the event fathom kind of event things right, where right, but it was right. like an early version of that and certain casts showed up at different theaters across toronto at certain time right the whole thing wow god i didn't even know that they were in theaters that's crazy um so we had uh we've had a couple of donations that i've just got to say thank you for uh anna has donated five dollars you guys are doing an amazing you, you guys have an amazing job thank you so much for sharing your experience this is so inspiring uh, so thank you, Anna, for the five dollars. Uh, and then we have uh, Alicia has asked us a question. Uh, oh, hang on, TNS Alicia. TNS picks also TNS picks also donated uh, five dollars. Thank you for the five dollar donation. Uh, so Alicia donated ten dollars. This, this is mocking Ariana. Yes. Any tips for getting into the professional world of production and more specifically editing? I'd love to eventually have a career pretty much doing what you're doing. For example, any tips on next steps? <laughs> Excuse the pun to take <laughs> you're both icons by the way that's from uh -huh. ariana Thanks. so do you gonna uh, like i don't know you guys feel whoever wants to go well you okay, have cool. like neither of you okay cool so that's yeah. the end of the stream guys um thank you very much for watching no, i'm kidding okay 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 so i think it's it's all about like who you who you know and i mean i think that's uh, good everything right yeah, um, Alicia, you were saying you you did like the BBC thing, stuff like that. I mean, mm. even the fact that like knowing people there is huge. Like, if you wanted to talk to them and or just like let any like literally let anyone who will listen know that you're interested in editing or just the post process or anything, because you never know where these opportunities are going to come from. Like, I started Absolutely. working on set as like an art PA. Yeah. Um, and I had absolutely no interest in doing that. I thought I wanted to work in camera and stuff like that. And so mm. I was just literally taking any opportunity to be on set as I could. And then from there, like I met people who then took me to other places who I met other people on those sets. And then that's eventually where I ended up doing like camera department in um, yeah. one of the, the people we used to work with um, for their web series. So I worked mm. on their web series as like camera department. And then they worked at Bo Rocker and they posted when this job was happening. Yeah, so I was like, yeah. I mean, yeah, sure. So I'll do it. So like any, any people, you know, in the industry, any people, you know, at all who you can, who you can talk to about like essentially what you want to do, just make sure you're always talking to them. Make sure, I mean, you have a YouTube channel with thousands of followers. That's also huge. So I yes. mean, just God, yes. never, like platform. never yeah. stop telling people what you want to do and, and pursuing that, I would yes. say. Yes. If Rob, do you, anything to throw in on that one? I would also, I mean, I would double down on like, it's it's sadly a little bit like who you know, like my uh, story yep. is exactly that. Uh, but you have to kind of also put yourself in positions where you meet people that will mm. uh, give you those opportunities and get mm. to know those people. Like, yes. uh, I went to film school and like the most important thing to probably come out of that specifically was that it uh, helped me get my first like, in if you of it, whether it's like online groups or uh, anyone locally that you can like talk mm. to and start to try and work with and those opportunities kind of reveal themselves at different yes. times as well as you know, building up your own work so that you have something to show and, and that you have some experience and ideally that have uh, some people who have like liked work in the past there's YouTube 
Yeah. Uh, so uh, you have to both be like ready to show off that like you've done some stuff, but also mm. yourself in a position that people are asking um, in front of you, like, hey, does anybody know how to do this? And yes. you're like, yeah, that was me. Look yeah. at my work. Yeah. And honestly, and a lot of time it is just like if someone's looking for someone, this is this is kind of awful but like fake it till you make it like i wasn't really i enjoyed editing for sure but i didn't know that i would necessarily be like yeah 100 the person for the job but i applied anyway and i was the person the exact person they were looking for so there's a certain level to that as well um and i don't know if you are in film school if you're planning on going to film school but for me the biggest thing about film school is like it's what you put into it like there was yes. a lot of people i went to school with who were like i'm not learning anything this sucks like what i'm wasting my money here but there's so many opportunities to meet people and go out and try new things and be on set so if you're if you're actively putting in the effort to learn new things and meet new people and and just put yourself out there it's going to be so much more rewarding than if you're just kind of sitting back and waiting for opportunities to come to you if that yes makes sense. yeah i mean it's it first of all rob is asking who these people are in the chat that's hilarious um <laughs> oh my god <laughs> for people multiple people asking that so i'm just like okay can, so just just in case you've just joined the stream this is emily and rob who edit and are in charge of the uh next step youtube channel instagram they do all of the editing for the behind the scenes um someone dropped a comment that i just wanted to read quickly before i i chip in on that uh, question from alicia um everything's really this is from acro cadabra everything's really oh, jumping with me that. over here so i just I really love the show, but the BTS and the show's general social media presence have literally transformed it for me. I watch the BTS videos whenever I'm feeling down or need a laugh, uh, especially lately, so I just feel like to say thank you. Although, goodness, this comment is a cheese fest. I can only apologize. That's totally okay. Acrodic Cadabra is, is really sweet, so um, thank you for those lovely comments. Um, That's so sweet. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, uh, for me, like, I, you guys know the story of how I got on TNS, right? You auditioned? No, but, like, how I got the audition. <laughs> I don't think you so, told actually. Me, but I can't remember. And also, so, the the chat wouldn't know. Yeah, I, well, I've, I've told it before, but I'll say it again. Like in, in terms of like who you know and stuff, I, uh, so I did my one of the very first uh, short films that I did when I was non-union in Canada was a a, a a horror movie that I I build a woman out of manure, and she comes alive and kills my father in the horror film. And that was directed by that, that was directed by Michael Schwartz, who is is married to Rachel Schaefer. Oh. And oh. and so so then like years later, years later, I quit my coffee shop job, and I say I'm officially un unemployed on Facebook. And he mentions that to Rachel, and she's like, "Well, why hasn't he auditioned for for the role?" And so that then got me the audition for for the next step. So like. You have no idea, like, as long as you're putting stuff out into the world, you have no idea, uh, and, and I talked with, you have no idea what's going to, where, where your opportunity is going to come from, and I was talking to Reed Diamond about this yesterday, but, like, a lot of people in the industry think that networking is this thing that you have to do in a room where you, like, you, like, ev evaluate whether someone is valuable to you, and yeah, that's not oh what it God. is, it's being someone that's, like, worth talking to and being a nice person that people are like oh this is a cool person i could see myself working with them that's like 90 percent of networking and and getting a job in any kind of i think any kind of industry nowadays is just like being someone people couldn't could see themselves working with 24 7. 100 percent. i yeah. networking events make me so uncomfortable i went God, to a few yes especially right out of school and i just i can't do it i'm not the kind of person that goes up to someone and is like let me tell you all the great things about me like it's just not, so what not do my you, thing you, what do you do you okay yeah you, oh so you, you, oh, what, have i seen you in something like how do i would i have seen you in anything no oh sorry let me just go and answer this phone call yeah i'm sorry i haven't oh, seen i haven't seen that. Oh. I think yeah, the most fun I ever had at a networking event was like I met some guy who was from Paris and we just spoke French to each other the whole time. My awful like French Canadian French and his like actual real French. It was great. It was a lot of fun. But other yeah. than that, I have not got a single thing out of a networking yeah. event. Yeah. No, it's 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 awful because you just feel completely uh, gross the whole time. It happens at TIFF parties for me. Every time I go to a TIFF party, they just suck completely I feel like we're i feel like all three of us though are like i hope we answered your question <laughs> yeah like, that's what and like, uh, like i said yesterday, Ariana is asking us for us to stay for like seven hours by the way um yeah, yeah you're welcome I think, to 
I thought you were gonna say she's asking us to leave. She's like, okay, I've had yeah, enough. Like, okay, I've like, done it. Yeah, can we move on? Yeah. This is too much energy for 11 o'clock in the morning. Um, <laughs> Fair well, I, think, well, I think the three of us, to be fair, are like kind of, I say to be fair, uh, are kind of like introverted people who like, once we like meet up with certain people, we'll like get out there. But yeah. we're, we're also, I feel like, not the ones who are like, at a party and just I like just talking think, to everybody I, no but reed said the same thing that it's like he's not particularly i don't know if you saw my interview with him yesterday but like he's like i'm not a person that like goes out and and like is like hey how are you blah 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 but it's just like when you can have a good conversation with someone it just immediately means that you stand out to those people way more and like all of the opportunities that he's ever gotten have been from like that's the reason why he's been in so much joss whedon stuff and like his family right. is just because he and Joss Whedon likes Soddenheim st stuff. They just got on <laughs> really well. He did one scene for the pilot of Dollhouse. He wasn't even going to be a recurring character, but just while they were filming, Joss Whedon loved his the, his love of Soddenheim, and that was enough to to make <laughs> him want to keep like collect him as a person. And now he's in a bunch of stuff, and that's that's going to be the same in any kind of. You know, so anything that you guys in the chat are hoping to do in your life, it's about being a good person and being someone that people want to know rather than being like, well, I have nine years experience of coding. <laughs> you know, whatever. It's it's mm -hmm. it's definitely, it seems that way anyway. Not that I know what I'm doing, but that's I, I agree with you. I've never, I've never learned how to write a good cover letter. I've never learned no. how to write No, no, it's a nightmare. Letters are probably garbage, yeah. Um, yeah, no, I agree. I completely agree. Maddie said something Writing earlier about letters being... will be covered in the Tina school, just so you know. Yes. We'll go so over this is letters yeah, and yes. networking two hundred one. This changes everything. I've metaphorically, metaphorically plied through so much hardship. Oh, by the way, somebody in chat asked to see the dog from Show the World. So hello. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is the, in Victoria's episode. She was so into like all the animals and stuff that yeah. uh, we surprised her by just bring the dog and so that she could cut yeah Aww. what's the so dog's name sorry i've forgotten that one's izzy we named them after the subway stations uh where we like closest to where we meet them so she's named after islington subway station by a toba oh, that's so cute that's really cute want to, is there questions i want, I want questions yeah, no, guys, uh, all our fans are poor. It's totally fine, though. It's fine. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just gonna ask you a What's Here, that? Rob, I'll ask you you can ask stuff. What if, like, genuinely, and, and if this breaks the system, let me know, but, like, if people want to ask questions, then, like, donate based on, like, how good of our answers are. <laughs> It'll, like, motivate us. It'll motivate us to give, like, good answers. And they're like, that was a, that was a $7 answer. Here. Your beat <laughs> just made me snort water out my nose. You're amazing. <laughs> Love the dog. <laughs> Um, well, no, the other thing I was going to say was Rachel said that film school uh, is not worth it when we interviewed her. She was like, yeah, I went to film school. I'm not sure I would recommend it. That's the thing. It's a very expensive uh, yeah. option. And, yeah. but I, I don't know. I, I found I enjoyed it and I, I was able to get something out of it. Yes, there were a lot of times where I'm like, I'm really paying for this when like... <laughs> Yeah. Teachers wouldn't even show up, or they're like, "Class is canceled because I just don't want to be there." I'm like, okay, cool. No, or they like really because because so, this is something like that. But it was also because they were still in the industry. A lot of times they would be they would be like filming something, and so right. they would just kind of take oh, off. Oh, right, right, right. So it was stuff like that as well. But I still met Wait. a ton of people who I'm still friends with today, and still like working with. So I think it's a it's a, if you can afford it is I think mm. the big thing. It's an right. excellent opportunity. I, yeah, I was I was lucky enough that like my parents paid for my university, and I I mostly picked school I picked because it was like guaranteed residence in first year, and I was looking for that kind of like social experience, mm -hmm. um, and, and that was a big part of like going to school for me. Uh, I took like drama and film, so things that have like not really played into, uh, like I, I haven't I didn't necessarily pick up skills because also it was like a lot of theoretical stuff. It was yes. a lot of like. Let's talk about this old movie and like yeah, the themes yeah, yeah. that like the professor thinks are in them, and then yeah. I don't. Yeah, and it's think... all subjective as well, right? Like it's art. And like... Especially that might especially be the difference. Now with, I went to college uh, instead of university, so there was sure. a lot more like doing and being practical, on set rather than sitting. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah I would yeah. also say like, especially right now. I mean, this might be specific going to like 
in the very near future, but with the virus and it's yeah, great. like it's if you're gonna be learning online, I don't know if film school wouldn't be or film college wouldn't necessarily be worth. Mm. Yes, I agree. I mean, I, yeah. I I went to university for video game design. That was a good job. That was a good. That was money well spent. <laughs> hey, my my brother's going to school for uh, programming. I guarantee so... he's going to a better school than I went to. So don't worry, it's, he's not wasting his money. Trust me. Like legit, cool. we we I had a, a 3D Studio Max module. The guy was reading the paper while we did the tutorials off of the program's help thing. Like literally, it was just like, okay, open the help menu and then start lesson one. I'll be here with the oh Sunday Times kind of thing. Like it was, that was like literally. I remember my high school class in grade seven or something like that. Like our mm. teacher had no had no idea what he was talking about. He was just going off based off the slides that the teacher before she went on mat leave oh, and so he no. was just going with the slides already the made worst. he like i learned more from the magic school bus than i did from that class <laughs> it was great oh. Oh. probably learned more about uh an from animaniacs than i did in a lot yes, of schools like the, na the nations of the world song and I, I'm too you, young for animaniacs are you like are you early like, 90s. are you instagramming the picture there em are you taking a picture of the stream yeah. Okay. Good. I'm not gonna post it anymore. Anyway, no, dude, it's fine. It's totally, like, hey, we need the we need the views. Um, Listen, so, so Rob and I, the social media people, I don't think we've posted anything on our personal Instagrams, and like, I don't, I haven't posted anything since January. I don't know about you. I don't know, I don't know how to have a personal social media account. I, I don't no. know what. I no, no. Well, I mean, I apologize <laughs> in advance if you get a bunch of more people adding you because you've been on here. I apologize in advance. Um, so something that I, I wanted to get you your guys' take on, because um, it was a hot topic yesterday, hottest of topics yesterday. Uh, no, it's good. Uh, oh boy. <laughs> uh, what do you think happened to Margie? I think, I think. Thanos snapped. Thanos she was snapped. Gone. Thanos snapped. Yeah. Okay. I genuinely think. It, I mean, the show started out as a documentary type show or a mockumentary, like yes. make, uh, trying to look like a reality show, and it's moved a little bit away from that. Yes. The years we've had like, in 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 some cases, like Ergy disappearing, and if that's a dream sequence, whatnot, it's not that different than like Michelle dancing with herself in season four, uh, uh, or like see like or also season four like Riley uh, having like an imaginary uh, trio with James and Alfie like. Sometimes you want to do stuff that I think. It seems like whether or not season four was like the experimental actually... season. Like season four was when they were like, yeah. let's just try dream sequences and things. Let's just like you know, let's just go nuts. Let's go for it. That was like Frank's. It turned out to be Frank's last season, but he like I mean, he was the one pushing for like forty episodes. We're gonna mm. like do a whole bunch of stuff. We're doing. We're introducing qualifiers. Like, mm. but uh, I think especially as the show has gone on, like they try to figure out ways to do new stuff. Whether it's like. All fires, whether it's East versus West, which mm. genuinely means whether it's, uh, you know, it might not necessarily, it might be filler in a way, but like prom or something. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, I think well, they try otherwise to. Otherwise, it gets boring, right? Otherwise, it's just like okay, and now they go to regionals, and now they go to internationals, and it's just loops over and over and over again, which in itself <laughs> would be a good storyline. I'd, I'd do a Groundhog Day. <laughs> Season eight, we'll do a Groundhog yeah. Day with with Nick just getting oh, more and more upset. Yeah everyone switches person like switches characters and plays each other god that would be so cool <laughs> yes i think that'd be really fun oh i'd love that just do that as a youtube thing somehow someday yes yeah. we oh, well they Guys, kind of start, you, you kind of had that with shelvin and, and shelves and, and ac right because they kind of did that whole <laughs> playing the scene thing you know they they were doing the different scenes oh they, when uh the dance oh, dance yeah. academy theater where dance academy theater yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I mean, we should do that again. We've talked about that for a while, but it wasn't was that, like. Uh, am I right in thinking that was like the first thing that you edited, Emily? No, something something about that was like the it was first an early thing. It was oh, a very early yeah. That was for Dance Mania, we I think I shot that though. It's Academy. You the, shot the, it, the, right, right, the right, right, right. Mm. Mm. That was so much fun. I would love to do more stuff like that. But I think that was kind of the vibe we wanted to go to go with for season seven, which. We, we may not have gone with our original plan, but I think the videos have still been pretty fun. Like, Beatrice's video was hilarious. Or at least yes. I had a lot of fun shooting it and editing it. Like, <laughs> with every, all of them ending up on the ground, making a giant bee with their bodies for whatever reason. Yeah. Like, if you need any more reason why I was getting yelled at on set, that right there was it. <laughs> that was the... the <laughs> Shelby and Alex recreating old scenes was, like, the first time that we were like, this is a new thing. Like, mm. we can, like 
go kind of crazy with the style of it and try and make it more like YouTube-y. And Emily really was the one who brought that into the stuff. And then season six behind the scenes was even like, I remember that I specifically was like, I think it even started with behind the scenes of work where Miles uh, Ehrlich flips through everybody. And we mm. had the behind the scenes footage of his foot accidentally uh, catching Dylan. Yes. And like your, your original edit of it, and that was season six, episode one. So it was like your first behind the scenes had like a lot more i think a lot more words and stuff popping up and i was like yeah i wish it is one that we needed to slowly bring it into like kind of crazier to be type stuff because behind the scenes had been so like shit and for uh formulaic for a while that we wanted mm. to like the first half of season six behind the scenes it like slowly ramps up in terms of we just saw that people liked what emily was doing so we did more and more of it right and now it's just absolute chaos <laughs> and now it's like now it's like are uh, is this just funny to us i don't know <laughs> no i think no i think it was good no it was great i remember when we were first sending out like these quicker youtuber edits people mm. were like i don't get it it's so fast what's what's happening and we're like no no, no it's funny trust us <laughs> stuff where like um as an example like in in late season six in alia's office in studio one we, like threw a bunch of like references to like look how many bikes are on this painting or something oh yeah like that. how many how many like bike locks are on that one bike it was it was like literally half a second and we got complaints back from uh the people who have to like double check the the stuff like legally yeah they mm -hmm. were just like so fast i couldn't read any of it it's like no that's that's on purpose we want people to like rewind it or like look at the youtube like you can see on youtube like where people are like watching or falling off and you see yeah. like, spikes for multiple that's because like rewinding oh okay but that's that's kind of just it's kind of become like okay like the everyone like you get a good reaction from everyone now from these kind of stuff right like they that's... either trust us enough to let us do our own thing or they've mm. given up on trying to make us <laughs> right they can't rein us in anymore they're like these kids. that's it I'm that's so it tired. well i guess i guess yeah. that's it then yeah that kind of thing right so That's here, I have a question for you, Rob, since you want. I I'll I will donate, I promise. I'll donate. Um, <laughs> but Rob, do you have a favorite behind the scenes? I've literally been uh, answering questions in chat. Yes. I think this is this is something that someone has said. But do you have a favorite behind the scenes or like behind the scenes moment from the videos that we've done? Fucking Ariana just brought up regionals, which is very good. Like it was also like, should we just make this as long as possible? And yeah. it is breaking down into like three episodes. And that was literally just because BBC with like a, a week or two's notice like told us like hey we're gonna be uh putting out all three episodes at once so it suddenly didn't make sense to do, like three different behind the scenes videos yeah so uh and and we were just like okay well I don't know how much tweaking there was done to it but like that's even why it like ends with like coming up on the behind they the scenes yeah. Yeah. And then we added, like, yeah, like, real quick I want to jump in someone I said go something about noah writing something on screen i think that was like the hardest thing about season seven was like <laughs> noah and isaiah well everyone knew that i was on the edited the behind the scenes but then noah started saying like okay and now it's gonna say this and then this and turn it red turn it blue turn it green and so then everyone started doing that and like requesting edits and i think in the last one um like they'll ask for subtitles or like zoom in do this like everyone started directing the behind the scenes when they yeah. knew that i was gonna be editing it yeah i did i th i remember i came in and did a bunch of stuff with a unicorn and, sh and stuff and i'm just like yeah. oh, okay i guess i ain't making the cut then <laughs> Rob told didn't me it, no didn't that make it in like at some point we were just like okay so some of these we're just gonna have the text pop up going like i'm not doing that yes yeah yeah <laughs> I think I think for oh the first time you did that I think was the behind the scenes we uh like the mini behind the scenes we did uh to branch the season uh, yeah. seven actually airing and we did it for we did behind the scenes for a couple of the off season episodes yeah it was like no going like duh duh oh, some yeah, sort yeah. of word and it kept yes. over and over until you just put just saying I'm something but you're the word I am not doing this yes that was yeah. really really good I like that that was a really like what kind of because I don't think a lot of people understand this and it took me making my own YouTube video badly to, to really understand this but like that kind of thing how long does that take to do? I'm given three days. You're given three uh, days? 
Emily, Emily is incredibly quick, but to the point where like she's so quick that people kind of assume miracles out of her, and we have to like go like that's that's not possible. Sorry. Yes. That's the thing. Yeah. Like it, it will it will fluctuate because I remember for regionals, for example, since we were just talking about that, it was just the energy of the of on set, like people's general energy on set was so everyone was so excited and but also mm. sad, and so editing that itself was really emotional weirdly for me because mm. it was just, everyone was so excited but like sad that miles was leaving and there was just so much going on that cutting that down and trying to make it work but also be emotional took a really really long time yeah um but something like more recently the videos that have been coming out recently came together really quickly because i was on set i knew what generally we were going to get out of them so i was able to quickly throw them together and get them done um but yeah, I think usually around three days, it does go by really, really quick, especially now that we're doing a behind the scenes for every episode, yeah. having to keep up with that has been pretty intense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, was, which is partially just because like, as as the person who wasn't editing, especially in like, I mean, Emily can correct me, but uh, I was kind of just like going like, hey, who wants to talk to the camera? Let's try and get some moments. And then I was like pushing for like, we don't need it to necessarily be people going like, but today on set, what we're doing is blah, blah, blah. And we're going to do this plot line. And, and this plot line is really based on, like, we still have a bit of that, but we're yeah. trying to get more, more, like, actual moments where the cats are goofing off together. And just making sure that it's easy enough to follow that stuff is usually the only times I, like, really kind of, like, push uh, structural stuff onto Emily. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I mean, we, I, oops. Sorry, go ahead. Sorry, I just I, no no. I just pushed the button and I've I've ruined the thing now. Hang on one second. Oh, I bring it back. Yeah, bring just, you back. Where's it, Where's it gone? Why is it not? I pushed a button and now it's broken. Hang on one second. There's a lot happening. Miles, why can't I see myself anymore? What can I see? There you go. I got you back. Right. I was gonna hang up soon if he can't Here. see himself. No no, I got you back. Don't worry, you're back now. You're back. Um. There we go. Yeah. I know. I know. It's nothing if not professional. <laughs> um, I feel like that's about the behind the scenes as well. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Don't press random buttons. Okay, thanks guys. Thanks for the the pro tip there, guys. Appreciate it. <laughs> um, so like, what do you think is is uh, what's been like your favorite thing for this season? Like, has has there been something that's obviously like having a job, but like in terms of like the season in general, is there stuff that you <laughs> Rob's unsure? Is there stuff that's kind of stood out for you stuff that you can talk about maybe stuff that given that you like doing the special announcement spoilers that you can talk about rob like i don't know i'm just i'm just trying to give give people you know i mean specific i can hear rob he's not talking i was he being was... very i was being very quiet again by accident i'm very oh, sorry man. emily you can go <laughs> ahead with your answer first let me let me take this one rob yes yeah Thank you take you. that one um... yeah, take <laughs> Uh, I think, well, just from like a behind the scenes perspective, because that's what I can talk about and I don't want to spoil anything. Um, I really do enjoy when we get to have those moments of obviously like goofing off and making like super like funny, entertaining videos. But I also do like when we get to have those moments of like, like just sitting down and chatting with the cast and just kind of yeah. getting their, their thoughts. I think the behind the scenes that just went out, um, Shelby and Alex talking about um amy and piper's relationship was kind of a cool one because yes like in the show like you need obviously you need to keep the drama and you need to keep it moving um so you don't necessarily get that chance to sit down and and have like a heart to heart about you know making like these female friendships and mm. this love triangle and like this whole situation so it's nice to just sit down with them and have like a conversation about you know what their personally their relationship means to each other and how mm. they bring that into the show and mm. how they think that that's how they feel that mm. is important for young fans to see um, and in a very similar way, we got to do a, uh, something like that with Sage when uh, Summer was going through kind of a hard time and she was able to yeah. talk about like how in her personal life, she's had similar things like that where people are like, oh, you're so nice and, and just kind of getting pushed around because of that mm. um, and and really speak to those things. And I remember like way, way back um, in season six, we also got to chat with Alex about Piper's anxiety. Mm. And I remember seeing on social, people were so excited that we said the word anxiety and yes. kind of confirmed it in that sense. Yes. And just seeing how important it was for people to have it be said and mm. have a conversation about it that was pretty, like, pretty chill. Like it wasn't any, any like serious, con not, I don't know how to say it, but it was, it was just like a very matter of fact conversation of like, this is something she's dealing with. And this is how she's handling it. And well, I like it gets rid doing of the stigma things like that. It. it gets rid of the stigma of it, you know? 
Yeah, exactly. So I love yeah. being able to do those moments as well as just like the funny the whatever funny it whatever whatever yeah. the heck yeah yeah <laughs> the yeah. rest of the behind the scenes are. And Rob, what stands out? What kind of stood out for you? Although you've not been I on do, set. But... I do really like when the um, behind the scenes get to be like longer and go through the, uh, the funny and the the emotional. So I brought up mm. like the the uh, first or season seven episode one behind the scenes of like. Mm. That needle of like all the fun stuff that the cast was up to and then like mm -hmm. the actual emotional like, saying goodbye yeah. to victoria alex bean being upset mm -hmm, um mm -hmm. and then generally like this is kind of a sidestep thing i i feel pretty proud of what's happening with cleo and jude this season um i'll be careful with what i say in terms of like spoilers and stuff but it was like it was not that anyone was like worried or whatever but we were aware that it's the show's first a big gay relationship and that mm. uh, they wanted to make sure that they didn't even like accidentally go down like the wrong route like some some shows have had pushback like us being in this job i feel like we kind of aware of like oh that show is like getting a lot of like bad blowback because they like made bad choice and stuff yeah and yeah. we were we were at like we were just uh, allowed to kind of be in the room sometimes and, uh, just a little bit of feedback of like we think that uh, if this does or doesn't happen this way, then it'll come off a certain way to the audience. That's the mm -hmm. weird way my brain works of mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. uh, trying to like half this job is trying to anticipate like how people will react. Yeah, uh, which you can be good or bad at that. And yes. uh, I'm really trying to talk around like any spoiler. Mm -hmm. trying to, but I, I, I felt proud that at least we were like kind of invited into that conversation, and yes. that uh, I like where Cleo and Jude end. I'll say that. You yeah. like where they end? Sorry, you cut out there. I like where Cleo and Jude end this season. I'll right. say that. Mm -hmm. Right. Yes. Yeah. I know exactly what you're talking it... about. I'm not going to say anything. But yes, I agree <laughs> with you. I agree with you. Emily, sorry, mm -hmm. I interrupted you. No, it definitely is nice being brought into those conversations and having a certain level of trust, especially since we are kind of talking to the fans year round, like whether the show's on or not. We're still on social. We're still posting videos. So we still do get to see that interaction. So it is nice being mm. brought into those conversations a little bit more and trusted with like if if they need to know something about how just in general, like what are fans reacting to? What um mm. what kind of storylines are people excited about? We get to kind of weigh in on that a little bit mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm. and bit, make yeah. sure the fans are being heard. Yeah. To an extent. Yeah. Yeah, and, oh, and honestly, I do think the, the writers' jobs, it's really hard. It genuinely is, because I feel like especially with a show like this that's filmed actually in like two months, there's so many different characters and the show's had so many different plot lines. I think it's a weird reference point, but I feel like it's almost like Star Wars, where there are like, there are different flavors of what people like about it. And so like, mm, something okay. a season can come out, or a, a, an episode can come out, and somebody's like, I, even season seven, it's like, I loved that episode. Yeah had my favorite characters and some people are like it was izzy izzy wasn't in that episode this is a garbage episode oh oh uh, yeah no no i get that as well absolutely yeah and no, i've seen that where it's like emily's not in this episode though yeah but briar's not in this episode yeah oh where's nick etc yeah 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 no i get it it's it's like even just like i don't know the the shows like i feel like sometimes it's it's hard to there's like a third of people going like why don't we see the characters in school and then like you do uh even a season five storyline of like zara is very good at school and needs to like figure out how to balance school and mm. dance and mm -hmm. then some people seem to like it and then some people are just like why aren't they dancing it's it's, mm. it's really tough and i think the writers i i, I don't want to take too much credit because i think even the the well they're not here you can take as much credit as you like i wrote the whole show um <laughs> just secretly my pen name is Rachel Schaefer and Karen McClellan. Uh, <laughs> but even the stuff hey, that people no, love, like hey, I'm I think Karen. <laughs> Emily, Emily contributed sometime. Um, wow. I think I think some of the the great stuff that people love, like a lot of the time, the the praise does go to like the cast because like I love these characters and obviously the cast influence characters. But uh, a lot of like little moments or or uh, that people bring up in edits or talk about it after an episode happens also comes from the writers and i, I think that uh mm -hmm. you know i just want to give them uh we got a, do a ten dollar donation that was a really good answer thank you that was very diplomatic and i like it a lot um <laughs> we got a uh a ten dollar excuse me you ten dollar donation from briar cloud thank you very much ten dollars going to color of change uh we're at eighteen hundred and sixty seven dollars that's amazing thank you 
Uh, who's your favorite character on the show and why? And we'll start with Emily. I don't have a favorite. If we get to 2000, I'll tell you who my least favorite is. Though. <laughs> <laughs> um, Stop. Uh, I don't know. Everyone, everyone just has such a unique and fun personality. There's so many things about them that are just, I don't know. It, I don't have a favorite. It's Renee. <laughs> that's a good answer. You wrong? That's a good answer. No. Wrong. Was the question character or, or cast member? Character. Okay. Oh, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I I I've talked to Alex Chaves about this. I feel like Piper and Alex Chaves to a degree are like very similar to what I will be honest. Oh, you're so talking I've, too quiet I've, again, Rob. You need to talk louder. Jeez, man. I feel like Piper is very similar to what I was in my own teens. Uh, can you I relate like this? Oh my god, Why sorry. Why did your voice went lower? <laughs> Uh, I have to hide it for professional reasons. People are really <laughs> against certain voices. And I feel I feel unwelcome if I don't use it. Oh my god. Um. So yeah, Piper Piper resonates. With me, say that. Mm. Good answer. It's, uh, thank you for neither of you saying me on my stream. I appreciate that. That's that's good support. Thanks. You're on the show. <laughs> Yo. I told you this. <laughs> I really appreciate. I think it's I think it's really fun that you have come in as a kind of uh Oh he laughed, he laughed. It's a song Okay, all right. Okay, I'm back. Oh no. <laughs> oh he's back. I I have told you this, Miles. I really appreciate that you have come in and like representing the kind old of, guys. Just yeah. those really They're, old people. Old, old characters. People who are decrepit who yes. can't really move that much. Just, yeah. Yeah. Well, we just need don't understand anything these kids are saying. Yeah. No, we we need rep. Like the uh, the old dads like need representation for sure. I have I have genuinely complimented you. I felt like you came in the season Stop and it. you had a vibe that really yeah. fit the show well. But it was a fairly new character, especially in a position of authority. Like we hadn't seen a studio owner, like somebody in charge of the studio who is like. Just uh, gonna mess up in so many funny ways. Yes. Like no yeah. other studio owner can come in uh, and like dress like you were when you like went out and bought all the, the dance and athletic wear. And yes. It, yes. it opens up like it does. It feels like TNS, but it, it does open up like new avenues, especially for comedy. Yeah, um, I hope so. I I really I like, I, I, and and you know I've said this to you guys before, but I really wanted to make sure that that on the one hand like. Oops, I hit my camera. Um, on the one hand, he's like, he's very, uh, you know, obviously like ties into the show. But then for 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 the parents at home that are watching as well, it's like somewhat entertaining to see someone be kind of like them that doesn't understand uh, how to woe. Hmm. You know those Arishka, kind of things. Barishka uh, uh, Rav. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Barishka Bar 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 a soda bath. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I I think it 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 kind of uh, it's something I'd want to watch on on the next step is is someone that that represents uh, the people that don't understand dance. So, um, but I appreciate uh, you throwing a, a, a small morsel of compliment to me. Thank you, um, guys. We're done. <laughs> it's been an oh. hour. It doesn't even feel like an hour. But this was already... fun. This was great, right? Oh, hang yeah. On. Thanks for having us got... on. We just got another. Nope. Oh, someone just donated ten dollars. Oh, one of my mates just donated ten dollars, but not even for a question. Oh, it's just one of my mates oh, okay. from Jimmy's. Just Paige, thank you for the ten dollar donation. Um, so that ten dollar is okay. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go and go into the chat. Someone ask a question quickly. You got one free question. We'll take any questions from the chat. The I first will. question I that comes up. Will. First comes first yes, question because Paige questions. donated ten. First one. We're on a delay, so it's gonna take a second. <sighs> So, <clears throat> what are you guys planning more on? Time. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. <laughs> yeah, Nick does not need that. more screen time. Um, uh, Damn it, Nick. That's all you need. Uh, oh, there you go. Does pineapple go we on pizza? Emily and Rob. There you go. Does pineapple. does does pineapple go on pizza? That's your ten dollar question. I don't know if I've had pineapple. I had an anchovy on pizza. Me? Not for me, but I appreciate those who do put pineapple okay. on their pizza. Okay. I, you appreciate the people that do? Yeah, everyone's supporting the pineapple industry. Yeah, shout out to the pineapple industry. But it's, I don't know. 
It's definitely jars. it's a Canadian it's a Canadian invention, pineapple on pizza, which I never understood why. Is it? Yeah, yeah, it was invented in Canada. Oh. Called Hawaiian for some reason. Yeah, like, the maybe because there was already. Yeah, I think that's a little weird. You're right, right. It's yeah. very weird. Um, Canadian is uh, mushroom and. Pass. I don't um, there are more questions, but, but Miles, it's your time. You you get to decide. You what got, uh, well, it. okay. If you want to throw another question, you pick one, Rob, and I'll let you do it because you're the diplomatic one, and you you know that you, you I'll let you do. I've done this a long time, so I know. Like for instance, people are asked about Lost and Found. Should I talk about that? Do it. Yeah, do it. Lost and Found is uh, first of <laughs> all, is, love. I love the show. <laughs> is because i love the show i worked so i i spent a year working so hard on the social media for that show i went with the cast to like la to film like the kurt hugo schneider i was really attached shout to that out show. yeah you know humble brag. i think it's just it's a it's uh i think it it's part of a situation that happened in the canadian tv industry this is really inside baseball but like it, Canadian Canadian channels like teaming up with like Netflix um, or with other U.S. channels to make shows, and then the good part about that is that it's easier to start a show because it's cheaper for both channels. Mm -hmm. If one of the channels or both of them aren't like in love with the show or how it's performing, then just one of them dropping out kind of endangers the show entirely. Yes. So they yes. fought for a long time at Lost and Found continued, but. Uh, I think both Family Channel and Netflix, neither of them were willing to just, like, uh, it's weird because, like, part of that is also that there's never, like, an official cancellation thing because mm -hmm. maybe Netflix would want to take it, maybe Family would want to take it. Same thing, I think, I, I have no insider knowledge, but I assume happened with Degrassi or yes. Backstage. No, I know, no, um, I know. I think that's what ha definitely happened with Degrassi. For sure, yeah. that's what and, happened. Uh, and even the next step to a degree, like, the next step has continued on partly because were audiences in other countries who are mm -hmm. so into the show mm -hmm. that if one country or another like if the interest starts to fade there's another country that is super interested in, and that's why uh you know cbbc especially coming on in season seven was a big uh a big deal it was like the new yeah. podcaster we were allowed to try some new stuff that yes. we've wanted to do for a while mm -hmm. saying we like i'm in charge of the show but like the royal we the next yes, step the royal so yes. <laughs> rob and i specifically and yes. that's it <laughs> CBBC came in and I crashed that phone call and go like, fine, we're finally doing it. Finn and Amy, finally. No one's going to stop us. <laughs> Everyone's going to love it. Um, Rob came in. It was actually Rob's decision to make Margie disappear. I don't know if you guys knew yes. that, but it was exclusively yeah, Rob decision. came in. He's like, you know what would be a, a really cool idea? Yeah. I said they could win internationals, but only if Margie just. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Right, so you have to you have to consider that trade off. Are you yes. okay? Like they could have lost internationals, but you'd still have Margie there. <laughs> Tough decision to make. Um, okay, guys, decision. do you have anything that you want to just kind of plug, or any any like creators you want to plug, or anything like that before we go? Oh, totally fine if you don't. I don't know. No. Just the cast of the next step uh, as a whole. They're like the sweetest, most talented people you'll ever meet in your life. Mm -hmm. Go tell all of them like how great they are because they're yes. honestly what makes this show so special including you miles oh, thank um you. but like slightly less um <laughs> thank you. no no thank you no, but yeah, no it is generally is just so much fun working on the show and yeah i don't know i hope you guys enjoy the behind the scenes because i've lost a lot of my sanity to those <laughs> where's the end of every season emily has to like be convinced that the behind the scenes are still good yes. uh because yeah. you, you just get all vision about it yes um and rob how do we get a season eight uh, you should message, uh, not the next step. We we are the ones reading the comments on the next step, whether they're happy or sad or asking about season eight, and we have no power. Yes. You should contact CBBC. You should contact CBC, the Canadian broadcaster of season seven. Yeah. You contact ABC, me in Australia. They're like yes. the main three. Yeah. Who uh, they're funding because we need to pay actors, we need to pay writers, we need yep. to pay like it's different than a YouTube show where a YouTube yes. show might just be somebody talking to the camera. Yeah. Need to make the sets and choreograph the dances and make the costumes mm -hmm. and it takes a lot you need the network support to make a tv yeah and those it, people is it uh like retweet it re oh, i don't even know what the term on instagram is re re gramming hashtags and those kind of things are those are those useful 
a direct messaging what like tagging them in posts what are, what is the what is the most productive thing people can do on social media i mean if we had an and renew and with an e uh rabid following just don't do that honestly Dude, don't uh, don't no, but legit like cbc what? gets wrecked by that and with anything yeah, but it's i don't i i think i think the and with anything has crossed over sometimes into like harassing people or yeah. commenting on like commenting on like uh serious topics with yes, like i agree my show I agree. yeah don't do yeah. that message message them every time you use the hashtag like do it, it anytime they would be sent a notification is probably useful great yeah. not that not that the show's like in danger or anything but kind of like rachel said yesterday it's always like every every season it's a little bit like we don't know we didn't yeah. we generally don't know yeah yeah absolutely wonderful okay thank you very much for being here guys it's been a pleasure talking to you and i appreciate the fact that you put time aside in your like insane schedules to come and come and chat for an hour with me i hope everyone in the chat let's get bees and ones in the chat for the for emily and rob thank you very much guys Thank you so much for having us. This was a lot of fun. No, of course. I'm it's glad been, it's been lovely. He hated us. <laughs> no, they didn't hate <laughs> you, and I think everyone were, got a lot more value out of this than you ever expected them to. So thank you very much again for being here. Glad to convince here. us to do this. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, the, all right. Okay. Thank you very much, guys. It's been lovely talking to you. Bye. And they're gone. And that's it. They're gone. And that's it, guys. I mean, that was great. Um, I hope you guys learned stuff, because I did. I learned stuff, and I already knew half of this. Um, uh, so there you go. If you want a season eight, tag CBC, tag CBBC, tag ABC me. Use the hashtag. 